Hey guys, what's up? So today's video, I have a bunch of videos I have to film today, so I'm gonna go more casual with my makeup because I actually just want to be more comfortable in it, but I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial. Um, I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics brushes. I don't have my Jeffree Star mirror anymore, so, so I'm going to be using this mirror. Um, and today, I did this video yesterday talking about Kai, so I wanted to do this again with Jackson. In case you guys are curious, I'm still burning Marshmallow Fireside from Beth and Body Works. I'm buying more candles in a couple of weeks when I'm filming this. And then I want to try out this candle brand that I found from Kendall Ray called um, Candles by Victoria. So I definitely want to try them out probably in September. But I am going to add that to my monthly haul, whatever candles like I decide to purchase from. So if you have any unique kind of candles, let me know. This is also last year's packaging. I was burning some other candles, so when I went through those, I got that one out. Um, so anyways, I did this yesterday when I was getting ready. I filmed it, and I was talking about Kai. I was talking about Kai, and when I was pregnant with Kai, and Jackson, you're so cute. I'm sorry, I'm celebrating with Jackson today because he um, got in his walker and he moved it for the first time. But anyways, I thought it'd be really cool to do it again, this again with Jackson, even though I didn't have as big, like, I didn't have as tough as a pregnancy, so I can't really give out too, too much information. But if you are curious, um, I had a very, very rough pregnancy with Kai, and I definitely recommend checking out that video. I have videos I filmed and recorded and posted of myself when I was pregnant with Kai and I was actually going through the problems that I was talking about in those videos so if you are curious then you can check those out so I did have preeclampsia when I was pregnant with Kai and um, they did tell me that it was highly possible for me to have preeclampsia again the next pregnancy I had I didn't with Jackson I actually had a relatively normal pregnancy with Jackson I could eat anything which that was one of the biggest issues that I had with Kai was that I wasn't able to eat and keep food down I had to be on medicine but with Jackson I was fine so uh, I went into labor with Jackson pretty early in the morning and like you kind of just know when you're in labor like knew when I was pregnant with um, Jackson like what like what labor felt like and I just kind of like knew and I didn't go to the hospital because I was having some other issues which I'm sure I will talk about in another video but I was having some other issues so I didn't want to go to the hospital so I was absolutely sure that what I was feeling was what I was feeling so I waited I actually took Kai on a stroller ride around the neighborhood like seven times that day trying to distract myself from pain and my mom got home from work at like 2 in the afternoon and I was like, Mom, I can't take this anymore. You have to take me to the hospital. Something is just not right. And she was like, okay. So we loaded Kai up in the car. She packed me a backpack. And away we went to the hospital. I go into the ER. And I wait for a little bit, and they come and they wheel me down. They put me in the little exam room, and they um, check me, and they say, yeah, you're in labor about, like, two, three centimeters. So we're going to keep you here for another hour and check you, and if you are dilated anymore, then we're going to have to keep you overnight. I was kind of hoping that, that wouldn't happen, because I knew if I had to have Jackson, I was going to surgery <laughs> so I was kind of hoping that that wouldn't happen but it did unfortunately so anyways I was hoping that I wouldn't have to go into surgery but I knew I would so they came and they checked me about an hour later and they were like yep you went up about a centimeter so you're gonna have to stay my doctor came and checked me and she's like you know we have to really discuss this because this is something quite serious so, like I said, I'm going to talk about that in another video, but she checked, we talked, and, like, she actually pulled up a chair and sat down and talked with me. It was one of those kind of, like, serious conversations that you have to have with your doctor, and 
we talked about everything and I came to terms with it. Sometimes it's just better to come to terms with stuff than be upset about something you can't change. So that is kind of like the motto I am living at the moment is don't stop and think about the things that you can't change and be upset with those and live for what you can change and be happy for. And what I can be happy for is my boys. Who I'm sure you can hear in the background. But another thing that makes me happy, you know, obviously is makeup doing YouTube. Yes, Jackson. No. So and that's another thing that makes me happy. Um, I'm quite content. I'm still looking forward to getting my Danessa Marks um, Mini 3. I also ordered the Pat McGrath Mothership 5 and Patrick Taw's Major Dimension Room Palette. Because next month I am ordering Major Dimension to the Rose one, and I'm also going to order Midnight Sun from Pat McGrath. But I don't think that there is any other like actual big palette, like the Nanessa Myers palette, that's going to be coming out. I think I might get Mini Bronze or Mini Glam. I haven't decided what Mini I'm going to get from Natasha Denona, but I am going to get a Mini. I think I might get Mini Glam, because my Midi Glam was stolen. But it's okay. Because Kenyara's birthday was yesterday, and she was just kind of like, you know, if I can keep this, then I will be okay with that. And I was like, okay, whatever. I mean, Kenyana's birthday is literally like two weeks after my son's birthday, and then it's like five days after Ryan's birthday. So it's kind of it's kind of funny. That's like not funny at all, but it's kind of funny. Um, we we need to go back to talking about Jackson. So I was actually um, Brandon was not in the hospital. Because he actually had to work, and obviously we had Kai, so, and Kai couldn't come to the hospital, obviously. So, um, I had to do labor and delivery, basically, by myself. Luckily, I have a, a my doctor is actually my, close to my age, and she has a son as well, and we've really bonded over the couple of, past couple of years. She's really cool. Um, she delivered both my kids and did my surgery, so, I mean, obviously I trust her quite a bit. But, you know, she is, like I said, she's just, like, really cool, and I trust her so much. I can tell you right now, I would not change doctors, because I just trust my doctor now, like, so much. So, you know, she's there with, like... Her nurses and I there was like a nurse on, on the bottom with her and there was a nurse up with me um so I did have encouraged like encouraging I, it was encouraging is what I'm trying to get out is like it was encouraging and uh this is at like 11 30 at night Jackson was born very very late in the day like he almost came the 4th of November but it's actually the 3rd my mom always gets it backwards. It's the third. My mom always gets it backwards. So, um, yeah. So, Jackson was born the third, almost the fourth. And it, I didn't have an epidural either because I just. To be completely honest, labor pains aren't that bad. They're kind of like, in my opinion, everybody's labor is different. So if you don't feel the same way, that's totally fine. Everybody's body is completely different. Everybody can handle a different kind of pain level. I just know, I just knew when I had Kai, I didn't want to have an epidural. I didn't really think about it with Jackson, to be honest, because every kid is different. Every pregnancy is different. Every labor is different. So that was the model I was going off of really liking these CC creams from It Cosmetics that I've been testing out. Um, I might have to pick it up from Ulta. It's been quite a few months since I've worn a liquid foundation. I've just been wearing powder foundation for a very long time. So anyways, back to the story. Um, Jackson came. I didn't have an epidural. I had pain medicine. I did have pain medicine. Because like I said, I was dealing with another situation that required me to have pain medicine. But like I said, I had... 
another situation that I had to have pain medicine for. So that's what they gave me pain medicine for. And like I said, I'll talk about it in another video. It might be up before this one. Who knows? So anyways, um, I'll move this for you, buddy. <laughs> Big boy. Um, Jackson came and all I wanted to do was sh go to sleep. They would not let me go to sleep. They were like, you got a shower. You got to use the bathroom. So they literally helped carry me. Like, they didn't carry me. Like, they helped move me. Like, I walked, but they helped move me towards the shower. Which I remember it was the same way when I had Kai. Was that, like, you had to shower, and then they moved you from the labor and delivery room to postpartum. So that's what happened is... They helped me, and I showered, and I used the bathroom, and they moved me to postpartum. And I literally went right past the room that I had Kai had went in postpartum with Kai in, and I was like, ah, fond memories. And I was actually in the room this time, like right next to my sister's room that she was in the postpartum in, because my sister and I, our doctors, our OBGYNs, are a part of the same practice. They both have this, like they're both in the same practice, and we both delivered our kids at Conway Medical Center. <laughs> distance. It was a distance. It's not the closest hospital, but that's what we did. And it's just something cool. It's something that my sister and I share. Like, that's something that only me and her can say is that, like, we had our kids at the same places. So that's really cool um, for me, at least, to say. So... Honestly, I have to say I breastfed Kai. I didn't breastfeed Jackson for some of those reasons, but that I was telling you, like, personal reasons that I was telling you guys about earlier. Um, I definitely say breastfeeding helped with the healing process, even though it's super annoying, and it is kind of hard to get a hold of. What I mean by that is, like, you're obviously not going to be a master at breastfeeding on your first try. But it is something that is super hard to get to because you do have to teach the baby to latch to your nipple. And it can be quite painful. But it did help with the healing process for like my insides. So it did help the healing process for like my insides. I was a little bit in more pain with Jackson than Kai. I actually, um, so when they take, they left the IV in both times when I was in the hospital with Kai and Jackson, just in case they had to give me medicine until I left. So when I left with Kai, it was fine. I just didn't want to look at it. I still to this day can't, I can get my blood drawn, but I can't look at the needle. I can get my blood drawn now just fine. Anyways, um... So with Kai, it was fine, but when they took the IV out after I had Jackson, I like bled like crazy. No one ever explained why this happened to me or what it could have meant, but it is what it is. I mean, it is what it is. I have two healthy, healthy baby boys, and that's all that matters. Jackson is a big cuddle bug. I will show you guys Jackson in a second so you guys can see him because you guys see Kai all the time and when Jackson's older and like walking around I'm sure he'll be in the videos more too it's just kind of like it's not more convenient it's more like Kai feels the need to intervene himself into videos like right now the extra light is because he feels the need to open the window because he it's weird. He and Ka he and Jackson kind of like play with the curtains. Like Kai will hold one side of the curtain and Jackson will hold the other side, and they'll kind of like them back and forth, and it makes Jackson laugh like crazy, which is kind of cute when you think about it. But it's also like weird. But I mean, they're brothers. They're gonna have their own, you know. They're gonna have their own style. And I mean, they seem to like each other. I mean, Jackson likes Ka Kai. Likes Jackson. Jackson, I think, is the issue we're going to have because um, Kai plays a little rough because if you don't remember, my brother has a son that is two months younger than Kai. We talked about it quite a bit when I was pregnant, but he does have a son that is two months younger than Kai. So because they're so close in age, they rough house together all the time and they're just fine. Like, he's just fine. So 
that is the kind of playing that Kai will do, is he roughhouses, because that's what he's used to. Look, every kid that he's around is close to his age, so that's how he thinks that they're supposed to play. And, I mean, it's wrong in the sense that he is a ba Jackson is a baby, but, I mean, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. He still roughhouses with Caden, and he's still a little bit rough with Jackson, but, you know, usually I can catch it in time. And, <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, Jackson? That's not Jackson crying. That's just Jackson making noise, because I know somebody's going to be on the um, comment section being like, why are you doing makeup when your kids are crying? They're not crying. They're making noise. Trust me, when they're crying, you will know. Because one, I won't film. Because why would you film when your kids are crying? That's just so stupid. I mean, your, your job is to protect them and shit. So you need to like get off your ass and do it. And that's unpolite, but that is my way of saying it, I guess. I'm use this brush. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I'm glad I got to do this. I'm glad I got to talk about the boys in their own separate videos and have things to look back on. I mean, I'm glad my kids are super going to be super close in age, even though it's going to be super duper hard because I have a two-year-old and I'm going to have a one-year-old in a few months. At the time that I'm filming this, at least. So... I'm just like, I'm so nervous. I always wonder, like, am I a bad mom? What's going on? Just things like that. I got into this program called um, Parents for Teachers. Or Teachers for Parents and stuff like that. And they're going to help me with teaching Kai and Jackson so that they can be ready for school. And I'm also getting Kai in this um, program called the Head Start program. So that's gonna be fun. If you don't know what the Head Start program is, basically um, they take three-year-olds and um, they take them to the elementary school and they basically like they teach them what it's like basically like to be away from your, their mom and like to go to school, like to get somebody for school. They're only there for, if I remember correctly, like two to three hours. So that's gonna be heart-wrenching for me because Kai and I are super duper close, but that's also gonna give me some time to, this isn't until next year, but that's also gonna give me some time to get Jackson ready for school because Jackson will be two. So Jackson will be in the program and Jackson will be in the program when Kai is going to school. So if you didn't know, because it can get confusing, I have learned this. Kai and Jackson are actually going to be two years apart in school because of where their birthdays fall. So Jackson will be in the Head Start program probably for two years, whereas Kai will only be in it for a year. Because like I said, because of where their birthdays fall. Because he will be five going into the school year when he goes into it, and Jackson will be four. So, yeah. So that is going to be, I'm going to use purple to lighten this up a little bit. That is going to be fun. I have, I think I'm going to do some gaming content today because I am trying to set up a new gaming, like for the Generations Let's Play. I want to do a new game um, one to kind of like... You know, we're getting high school years soon, so that's, like, kind of what I'm trying to do is, like, prepare for high school years, I guess you could say. Because I'm excited for high school years. If you are a gamer, please let me know. Um, I also think I'm going to get a new computer so I can play my old games. Like, I can't play any, like, a lot of my old games that I used to play, like Fable 3... You know, Skyrim Legendary Edition, which I have Special Edition now, but, you know, sometimes I want to play it just for myself, and I can't do that. You can't play, I can't play Sims 3 on this computer. Basically, do not upgrade from Windows 10. 
Windows 11 sucks. That is the moral of that is that Windows 11 sucks and until they fix it I won't. I will I will try Windows 12. I won't ever use Windows 11. Windows 11 shit. People keep telling me you can't downgrade from Windows 11. Yes the motherfucker you can. I just don't know how to do it. I just but I know I had an old computer that was downgraded from Windows like 9 or something like that to Windows 7 when I was younger. And I mean it worked just fine. It worked just fine. It worked just fine. That blue and this purple look great together. Dad is crying. I just tried to give Jackson this bottle and Kai took it from him. That is the kind of brotherhood that they have. Oh, we gave it back to him. I have Jackson sleeping in a pack and play now. Um, if you have kids, like, let me know you guys' suggestions when it comes to, like, pack and plays, because I, I kind of want to get him, like, a mattress for my pack and play, because I just kind of feel like he is very, very low to the ground, and I just, it kind of seems like it might be a little hard for him, so I really want him to have a mattress. Because, I mean, Kai sleeps on a mattress, I sleep on a mattress, so why can't Jackson sleep on a mattress? just kind of seems fair to like let him sleep on a mattress I don't know I just like it, it weirds me out for him to not have a mattress I don't know why but it does I don't know I'm weird like that sometimes though I'm sure most people know this though because I can be quite weird <laughs> And I'm sure most of you guys know, I do tend to bounce all over when it comes to these videos. But I mean, I do try to get a lot of work done in one video, so. I'm not gonna lie though, I am super excited for my August um, order. I think you guys are gonna be like, girl... You spend way too much money on makeup because I done spent like almost five hundred dollars. I believe it was a little over four, but I could be wrong. I want to get the Tom Ford eyeliner pen. I think that that is going to be my goal next month. Is when I do my Sephora order with the Midnight Sun palette and the Patrick Ta. <laughs> is get the Tom Ford eyeliner pen. I love eyeliner pens, as you guys know. I'm also picking up the new Essence eyeliner, Last Princess eyeliner pen. I have a lot of eyeliner pens, so I am noticing that the blue is a little bit faded on my eyelids, so I want to go in and re-intensify. Because like I said, I have other videos I have to film today. I might even be filming gaming content, so I do want to look a little bit put together, obviously. I did have my brother finish filming Saints Row 2 for me because for some reason G-Force wouldn't work for Saints Row 2, so I was like, okay. And um, some of it I couldn't do, so I just like had my brother do it. And I mean, after Kai's birthday, I got a little distracted and I didn't haven't posted so I do need to start posting again uh it is I believe Thursday so I might just start posting again with another Saints Row video because I posted on Wednesday so, yeah and I mean like kids has been like a lot of fun it has been one crazy journey I will say that I am gonna be wearing false lashes today because like I said I am filming quite a bit I'm not going anywhere I'm filming I'm just filming today so I am gonna wear false lashes oh I also did a shoot in order of course I ordered some makeup I didn't order that much because I actually own almost all the makeup that I want from them so I didn't order that much makeup 
But I did order a couple outfits, so let me know what you guys think about Shein clothes. I'm excited to try them. And I ordered some shoes as well. I'll definitely have to show... I'll definitely have to show those to you guys. I think my boys are getting tired, though. I'm going to use Soleil from the Moon Prism Blush Palette. This is just the blush palette I've been using lately. Really like it. I definitely like Manny's blush formula a little bit better than Laura Lee's from the Blush Aesthetic Palette. I just think Manny's is a little bit more pigmented, and you definitely get you get more product with Laura Lee, obviously, because you get eight shades, but you get a highlighter shade, which I never used. I use all of these, and I actually like these shades. And I think you get more in the pan as well. And I love the little bump out, like, because I'm such a Sailor Moon fan. I will still watch Sailor Moon to this day, so I love that. Plus, Manny is an Aries, so yeah. <sighs> Okay, highlighter of choice today is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and Be My Highlight. Oh, and I'm doing a ColourPop order. I'm getting quite a few palettes from ColourPop. Um, I'm doing that probably after I'm filming this video. It's my, again, August orders. So if you are curious about what I am talking about, then just check out my monthly haul. If you are watching this... Just check it out, and it might be up. If not, it'll probably come up soon. It's probably going to be up before this video, though. Okay, I'm trying to tone down, like, the amount of product I'm purchasing because I have quite a few pieces of makeup, but I have gone crazy the this past month. I have really gone crazy. I decided to buy from Thrive Cosmetics and Haley's Beauty today, or this month, so Haley's Beauty I've never tried. Thrive Cosmetics I have tried before. <laughs> I picked up some tried and true that I love, so I picked up another that buildable blur CC cream, which I love. I'm still waiting for that to arrive. I picked up another mascara, which I love. I'm sorry, I love this candle. But anyways, I picked up another mascara, which I love. I also picked out a concealer. I can't remember what else. I know I got four things from them. Oh, their eye primer, because I love me an eye primer. So, I got two products that I love and two products that are new for me to try. And I love their actual, like, they give to women in need. So, I love, like, their message. Um, and obviously, I ordered from Ulta and Sephora. Bath and Body Works. She in and ColourPop. So, yeah. I asked you guys before, but let me know what you guys would think about, instead of, like, maybe doing a monthly haul the way I usually do it, but also doing a monthly haul try-on, where I actually try on every single product I get. So, like, I'd probably do, like, half face Ulta, half face Sephora, you know, maybe, like, I'd do, like, the Thrive Cosmetics CC Cream up there, you know, my Sephora foundation here, my Ulta foundation here. Just let me know, would you guys be interested in seeing these pro the products that I haul every month in action? Because they don't always go into my YouTube kit right away. The eyeshadow palettes usually do. I've talked about it before. I have a YouTube kit that I literally is full of makeup that I literally just use for YouTube. I have a personal kit that I use for myself, which you guys do get to see it sometimes. And I have a professional kit that I actually use on people whenever I'm doing makeup, so. I have three kits. A lot of times I actually buy products three times because if I really like it, it's going in my professional kit, my personal kit, and my YouTube kit. Wait, the Danessa Myricks um, Lightwork 3. I have three of those. I bought one from Beauty Bay or Beautylish. I bought one from one of those. bought one from the website because I pre-ordered it, and then I bought one from Sephora. Because I was like, well, I'm already here, so I might as well purchase another one. So I'm already spending like $300, so I might as well just make it four. Because my ass is stupid, and I purchased way too much makeup. But it's okay. It's okay. I will get through it. 
I also really, like, I haven't done the Ulta order yet for the month of August, but I have changed up what I'm purchasing. So, in case you guys are curious, I'm wearing the Ioni Natural Light Wispy Lashes, and I'm using the Kiss Lash Couture Lash Glue Adhesive thing with Biotin and Blueberry. So, I am going to get that Morphe Supreme Brow 5-Piece Artist Brow Kit. I think I'm going to get it in the shade Cold Brew, because I think the other shades are either too dark or too warm. So, I think I'm going to do that. It comes with the new Supreme Brow Gel, which obviously is meant to dupe Elf and Anastasia's. And it better be an exact dupe for Anastasia's because Elf's is $6 and is. And the Morphe one is $8 by itself. It's also going to come with a new brush, the Morphe Brow Pencil, the Morphe Brow Powder, and the Morphe Brow Pomade. So I'm just going to get the kit. It's going to be $25. So I did switch that out for that's going to be the brow product. I'm going to get this one for Ulta. I also decided to pick up instead the Morphe 2 Hint, Hint Skin Tint for $18. I think I'm going to get Hint of Cream. That's going to be the foundation I'm going to get because I really want to try out the Morphe 2. Um, I like having my foundation and concealer match because I think that the foundation and the concealer, when they're released, like they're meant to go together. So I kind of like having them match and I couldn't really find anything that matched with the LA Colors Tinted or the LA Girl Tinted Foundation. So I just decided to scrap that and maybe do that another time and get this instead because I'm really interested in trying it and I know it had a knew it had a matching concealer and the matching concealer is the Morphe 2 um hang on it's like hint hint no hide and peak concealer and I think I'm gonna get in peak of porcelain which is $12 because I prefer a little bit of a pink tint to my under eyes to brighten and I think I'm gonna get the Morphe Bake and Set Soft Focus Setting Powder because it's $14. I'm going to get in the translucent shade, obviously. Because I want it. I really want to try it. Um, even though I am on a no-buy for under-eye powders, I am going through and I have a bunch of too dark under-eye powders, so I'm kind of okay with getting new ones that are going to be a good shade. So I also am deciding to pick up the Urban Decay Stay Naked, the Fix Powder Foundation from Ulta. It's $40, but if you don't know, I actually got the Stay Naked Foundation and Concealer from Ulta last month, so I wanted to get the Matching Powder Foundation because I just like to have the matching powder with the foundation. I did change it. I think I want to pick up the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer in Milk Chocolate for $35. I've had my eyes on this for years. I think I am just going to go ahead and pick it up finally. <laughs> I also am picking up the REM Beauty like blush stick thing. I don't even know if I can show you. There you go. I'm gonna get the shade Audition, which is a nude rose. It's eighteen dollars because I'm getting more into cream products. So because I do have dry skin, so that's why. And Becca, or well, Becca, sh um, Smashbox released more of Becca's old colors, and that's what I was waiting for with the highlighters. Um, they have the iconic colors like the opal, moonstone, and now and all that now. So I am gonna get these. I'm gonna get Champagne Pop. For forty dollars first, and then I'm gonna move on to the other ones. Still thinking about getting. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I have everything down. Okay, yep, that's everything that's different. And hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna end it here. By the way, these are probably gonna be the last time you see me using these lashes because they're kind of at their end. So I gotta get more lashes. I think I'm gonna. I think I ordered a like lash box from Shein, so I hope those are good. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to end it here, and yeah, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. So, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. All that social media great stuff. It really helps this channel out, and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys. You want to say bye-bye? Bye, guys. You can't kiss the camera. Please don't. <laughs>